Kevin, sure glad you could join me today. So I thought I would do a part two to the little gesso experiment. Um, I'm going to mix up some black gesso with some metallic gold acrylic and make enough to cover this entire surface and then I'll let it dry completely and we'll do a painting on this on the next episode of Coffee and Candy. So stay tuned for that. So uh, I don't really uh, know how this will look once I put it on there. Those little swatches look kind of neat, but depending on how much of the gold paint I put in with the gesso, it'll probably affect what it'll look like. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to get the uh, ingredients. We'll mix it up and then we'll slap it up on the canvas and take a gander at it and see what kind of ideas we can come up for the paintings to do with it. Alright, let's get started. Alright, I got myself a little plastic cup here. Got my black gesso and I got my metallic gold acrylic paint and let's get this stuff mixed up. We're going to start with uh, putting some of this gold into this cup here. Not sure how much to put in there. I have a feeling to put a lot in there really make it sparkle. But with that black gesso, it'll still be dark. That's about all of it, actually. <laughs> all right. Better to have too much than not enough. Save a little bit for a rainy day. It hasn't been raining much, though, so we might be waiting a while. <laughs> That's going to be enough to just in case. I'll take our handy dandy little camp knife here, which is now officially a painter's knife. You can use all sorts of stuff. You don't have to buy all that fancy stuff. Just get yourself a cheap little camp knife and have at it. <laughs> no, probably not. All right. Let's give it a good little stir in here. Kind of mix it up. We want to make sure it's mixed up real good. We want it to be even. I think. Although the streak, some streaks might be cool too, but I want to get a nice, nice sheen going across the entire surface. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, I don't wash it all out with paint and stuff. So I'll be careful with that. Using trans, uh, using the transparent colors, and hopefully it doesn't cover all the sparkles. I want to, otherwise all this is for nothing. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty dark. I don't know. <laughs> spills all over the carpet. <laughs> the one spot where I don't have plastic on the floor <laughs> will spill it. <laughs> that would make uh, this video take a little longer to make. <laughs> Stop for a cleaning segment. <laughs> You know, I think I'm going to add a little bit more of this uh, gold here. Oh, shoot. I'll just squeeze out the rest of it. I'm going to use this whole tube. Why not? Next 
next time I do this, I might use less. Just, uh, maybe, maybe it's a little better to overdo it the first time if you attempt it. Make sure it works. <laughs> and since I don't really know what I'm going to paint over the top of this yet, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm going to slap this stuff on here and then let the canvas tell me what to paint. That's, that's the way I like to do it. No pressure. Just feels good. And I had no idea I could make a video of me stirring paint. <laughs> Hopefully somebody watches it. Uh, Alright, I think that's oh, that's cool looking. I don't know if you can see. It is really cool. It's really dark, right? You know, because it's a big old thick blob right now. But we'll see how it looks once we uh, start spreading it around on the canvas. And, uh, you know what? I don't want to waste any of this good stuff. But So I've got my uh, 18 by 24 canvas here, and I've got uh, a brush that I use just for the gesso. I don't want to use my oil brushes on this because the gesso is acrylic, and oil paints don't mix with acrylics, which is also why you want this stuff to be able to want it to dry fully before you start putting your painting over the top of it. Because then, from what I understand. Uh, Disaster will ensue, and well, disaster is not relaxing, <laughs> and that's kind of the whole idea to kind of get brief escape into another world, but outside the mundane day to day, you know. Just that's why I do it. And also, you know, think about the places somewhere I'd like to be. Even if it doesn't exist. I'd still like to be there. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and slap this stuff on here. Now we're just trying to get a nice even coverage on, on this. I thought about doing a design on this one, but I really want to see what this gold can do. Well, maybe I'll do a design with like on the next one. You, know. you can kind of do a little bit of a pre-paint when you uh, with a with the gesso and. Uh, really interesting stuff. I'm sure you've all seen different things Bob Ross has done with doing some crazy gesso prep and other painters out there on YouTube which I'm very fond of because you know you never know where you might learn find a little trick you can learn from A lot of wonderful artists out there. And I'm just kind of enjoying the little introductory to uh, that world. Or reintroductory. But most of my stuff that I was doing was when I was a kid, you know. And really get to experience the whole art community, you know, it's just stuff I 
was doing in my bedroom. I mean, I'm still kind of doing stuff in my bedroom, but I'm talking to you while I'm doing it. <laughs> that is far more... Oh, <laughs> Yeah, I just realized I've been doing this whole video with the microphone turned off. So, first bit of that was a little bit quieter, so <laughs> hopefully it sounds better the rest of the way. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't even remember what I was talking about. I was rambling away. That's alright, though. If I wasn't rambling, it'd be a pretty quiet video. Probably fairly boring. <laughs> sound. <laughs> really, really work it in there, you know. <laughs> I think part of the reason I like the using the black canvases and putting the gesso on there is uh, I like that extra coating of primer on there gives. I mean, yeah, the effect is cool that you get, but that you can create, but I don't know, it makes it a little bit stiffer surface. It does help the paint glide across a little better, more coats, you know. That's how it feels for me, anyway. You may not like it, and that's okay too. Me personally, love it. Love every part of this. TV. Back when I was like, barely even talk, I could, I'd point and be like, I want to do that. You know? Well, obviously that didn't really happen. <laughs> but YouTube is the TV is the TV of the future. Streaming is the TV of the future. So, in a sense, I am on TV. Dream come true. And I'm getting to do something I love while I'm doing it. How can it really get any better than that? I don't know. Well, if I was actually making money doing this, that'd be pretty cool too. But, but yeah, I'm still having fun either way. <laughs> so go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and share and, you know, and become part of the family if you haven't done so already. We're all friends here. We all like to hang out, paint some pretty pictures, and drink a lot of coffee <laughs> and hey probably an occasional glass of wine too <laughs> I'm not going to do anything stronger than that on, on <laughs> video though <laughs> not really interested in embarrassing myself that much <laughs> Although I bet that would be a the easy way to get a bunch of subscribers. <laughs> but I found for me, once you drink a certain amount of wine, it gets really difficult to uh, <laughs> mix the colors. <laughs> and it makes it real easy to overdo it. <laughs> Just makes mud. When you 
get mud when you're not trying to get mud, that's when you're in trouble. <laughs> but, not that it can't be fixed. When you get mud, just, just stop what you're doing. Get your knife out. Your, this guy here. Just go ahead and scrape it off. Scrape off the, the mess you got going on your uh, on your palate. <laughs> and just start over. It's okay. You can always fix it. Now this should be, I don't have to worry about fixing this, I'm just putting a nice even coat. so worried about these little spots up here I forgot about that bottom <laughs> and that would have just looked silly I do that enough on, on a regular basis as it is <laughs> sides real quick. dude right there <laughs> that's me when I'm when I'm older <laughs> well that's what I used to say but I just turned 42 so that's not too that that's not too far off in the future unfortunately <laughs> especially considering when that was painted when uh, Picasso did that one that was a uh, Average lifespan wasn't that long back in those days, so I might be in trouble. I might already be there. 
less gray. Just be stragglers in the beard. <laughs> and yes, I do have hair under here, in case you're wondering. <laughs> I mean, it is, it's a, it is a little thin, but you know. <laughs> what are you going to do, right? <laughs> Just hair, though. Hats before. <laughs> and if it wasn't for hats, this channel would just be called In Hands. And, well, that wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> I guess it could just be hands. Although I think I like the sounds of mm hands better than just hands. <laughs> it's a good thing I got a hat. <laughs> Otherwise, this channel would be doomed. <laughs> We're gonna let this dry and see how it looks once it's dry. If, uh, if we think we need to put another coat on there, I think I got enough in in the cup to put another, at least another thin coat if need be. But we're gonna see how it looks once it dries, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, so it's dry now, and it's got a slight golden hue to it, and there's some sparkle there. But what I'm concerned about is once I start slapping some paint on top of there it's gonna kind of disappear and it'll just end up being like pretty much another black canvas painting and which that's fun but I'm putting a little extra work into this so I'm trying to do something a little extra crazy so I'm gonna do one more step and then we'll see what we can come up with after that so I'm gonna take some of this metallic silver which I've got some on this little tray here and I'm gonna take this paper towel Nice and watered up. It kind of looks like a flower. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> so. Alright, so I just dabbed some on the end of this uh, wadded up piece of paper towel. And uh, let's put a little accents in here. Let's maybe. Maybe we've got. Much there. It's all right. Maybe we got a few streaks going on down there.
All right, that's, that looks kind of neat right there. You know what, I think, so I saved what I had left of that uh, black and gold mix here. And maybe we'll put a couple uh, little tree trunks in there that we can work with. Uh, all right, let's see. So I loaded this brush up here, and I'm going to kind of, on this paper plate, I'm going to kind of get a nice little wedge. Well, it's nice and sharp, that way we can get some nice lines here. Maybe we have a little, uh, doesn't have to be perfect, it's going to get covered up mostly. We'll just slide that. Maybe we have, you know, let's put one more. You're right. already kind of see this is gonna be an interesting painting so I'm gonna put a couple more little dabs of the silver on here just here and there
right, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, I'll go ahead and let it dry, and then we're going to put a coat of liquid clear on there, and I'll find a good transparent color to put over the top of it, and we'll see what kind of cool picture we can make out of this. Um, so tune in to the next episode of Coffee and Canvas. This will be the canvas I'm working on, and uh, we'll see what we come up with. So, till next time, be good to each other, and remember, be creative.